What's up guys, Flippin' Steve, and uh, today I'm gonna do a sales video. Yeah, my last video, um, I asked you guys a question. Would you like to see a weekly recap or kind of a bi-weekly last 10 to 14 days uh, sales that I've done, because I have been doing a lot of selling, and a majority, pretty much everybody said, yeah, they would like to see it. Typically, it's not something that I would do, but if it's something you guys want, I'm gonna go ahead and show it to you. Also, you guys know we're in the midst of giving away all the 700 to 750 subscriber giveaways. So at uh, in today's video, at the end, we'll be giving away the uh, the packs here to, to a random comment from my most previous video. Uh, also, I'd like to point out that I'm repping my new t-shirt. It just came in the mail today. I could have saved it for a mail day. However, it came today and I wanted to wear it. Uh, Full Count Media which is a website put together by my buddy, uh, Les Alex, another YouTube uh, content creator. Um, he's helped me along quite a bit. So, you know, I'm helping him out, supporting his, uh, his calls and things he's got going on. I got myself a nice t-shirt and yeah, I like the emblem on it. It's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, it's going to be a pretty simple video. Nothing really fancy. I'm just going to show you pictures of the cards that I've sold, you know, when I bought them, how much I paid for them. Um, and a couple of things I want you to keep in mind here, guys. I'm not selling my cards because I think the market's going to crash. In, in fact, I think the market's going to continue to to go up, 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 in the, and, and up some more. Um, and, uh, you know, and, you know, and uh, I haven't quit buying. You know, I'm still buying stuff. And basically what I'm doing is uh, I'm selling off a lot of things that I think have not, not necessarily uh, peaked or capped out. But items that I think are going to slow down as far as, you know, the climb of their their value and putting it back into some things that I think are going to, um, you know, increase in value a lot quicker. And then maybe I'll have a small window of opportunity to go back and buy some of the things that I'm currently selling uh, for one reason or another. You know, I have my thoughts. Uh, so first of all, I want to put it out there. You know, I get the question all the time of how do I know when to sell my cards? Uh, when should I sell? Is it a good time to sell? Um, and I, you know, it, it, it all depends on the individual and the card. I answer this question the same all the time and I apply it to myself as well. Um, you're going to notice a lot of these cards that I bought, I, I bought a long time ago, uh, January, February, March, you know, dirt cheap prices. Some of the items that I bought, you're going to see the prices on these cards and you're going to be like, I can't believe that card was ever that cheap because the market has taken off so much. It's everything is so expensive now that you forget when things were affordable, um, at least superstars, you know, anybody now who has any kind of decent game, you know, they they have superstar prices on them already. And they're a lot of unproven's. So that's kind of what I'm doing is I'm taking some of my money out of these unproven guys with hype. I'm putting them back into some concrete players that I still think can uh, get a lot of uh, value, uh, especially during the NBA playoffs. You'll see me picking up some NBA cards. I'm not going to show you anything that I've been buying. That'll be another video. But I'm going to go through my sales. And I'm selling, guys, 90% because... 90% um, the, the reason is because I am comfortable with my profit margins. And whenever you are comfortable with your profit margins, that's just when you should sell. You should be able to sell a card and, and think to yourself, you know, am I going to look back and regret for selling this card, you know, six months from now or even a month from now? And in most cases, a lot of these cards that I've sold this week or last week have increased in value. You know, some of them have gone up significantly, but I don't look back and say, man, if I would have only held on longer, I could have made a little bit more money because then you get, you, you get into the um, habit of hanging on to everything and not selling at all. Um, so I personally, for me, I find a profit margin that I like. And when a card hits that profit margin, I sell, you know, and I just stick to that. And that way I constantly have stuff going in and going out. You're also going to notice a lot of the guys that I'm selling, for me personally, I have a lot of their cards coming back in. I have big orders out to the grading companies. And a lot of the guys that I'm selling, I have a lot more graded cards coming back in. So right now I'm just recapping some of my costs, grading fees, um, you know, eBay fees, uh, recouping the cost of the original price of the card, and still leaving myself some profit on top. Uh, the second reason why I'm selling some of these cards is some of these are football cards and I would be a liar if I told you I wasn't slightly nervous about COVID. Um, if you see some football cards, especially the quarterbacks, 
have outrageous prices on them right now. And for me personally, at the price points that I got in on, I'm selling because my profit margins are really good. And I could sell now, and if something does happen with the season, or if some of these quarterbacks tend to lose value, I will have a small window of opportunity to rebuy back on some of these players, and I'll have the profits that I'm picking up on them now. At least that's my mindset. It may not work. It may work. Either way, I'm happy because what I sold these cards for is, you know, satisfying to me. And uh, that's pretty much it. I mean, that's why I'm selling. I'm not getting out. I am reinvesting. So what I'm going to do, head out to the other room, just going to flash up some pictures, you know, show you guys the stuff that I bought, what I sold it for. So sit back, relax. I'm going to move on out here and show you some money I made this week. What's up, guys? Welcome back. Flippin' Steve. And yeah, before we go ahead and get into these sales, as you've noticed, I have three cards there in the backdrop, and those cards are going to be relative to today's video because we are in the middle of the of the giveaways, you know, from 700 to 750. Uh, we're giving away the packs, as you can see. Uh, I'll, I'll be announcing that in this video, and I'll also be asking another question in this video that'll qualify you guys for the subscriber 710 giveaway uh, for the two Anthony Davis optic cards. You have the insert and the optic base. Um, and also coming up over my next three or four videos until we give all this stuff away uh, will be the LeBron Select, the LeBron Optic, the LeBron Prism. This card has really gone up a lot, getting close to 100 bucks raw. And uh, the Anthony Davis uh, Checkerboard, guys. All this stuff will be going out in my next uh, few videos. It looks like at least four more videos after this one. So make sure you're liking and you're subscribing. Uh, make sure you're turning on your bell notification so that you know when I release a video so you don't miss any of this stuff. And make sure you're answering the questions, you know, you know, keep you on your toes. And really a lot of my questions are just opinionated because I value you guys' opinion. And I just want to get some input back from you guys on, you know, some of the stuff I'm doing and, you know, some of the stuff that you would, would, you would do if you were in my shoes. So here we go. I don't have much to show you except some pictures because this stuff has been sold and it has been shipped. I waste no time on shipping when people buy items off me because people spend good money for their cards and I know that they want them. I ship them out as soon as I can. The first two cards, I'm not even going to be able to show you the eBay sales because I sold these cards on Instagram. Uh, saved myself a lot of fees. However, the first card was a, a PSA 10 uh, 2017 Optic Patrick Mahomes, which I bought on... January 31st, and I bought multiples of these on the same day, a couple days before the Super Bowl. I hit the panic button and bought a bunch of them at around the $220 to $225 mark when they were actually only $180 cards. It was so close to the Super Bowl, I had to get some home cards under my belt. I overpaid, but I owe, but it's always you know, a thought of mine that I would rather overpay for a card than miss out on a card, especially when I believe in the potential. I sold the uh, one of the Patrick Mahomes, I've only sold one, I still have a couple, but I sold one of them on Instagram for $14.75. So yeah, $225 I paid for the card, I sold it for $1,475. Uh, next up would be a 2017 Prism Deshaun Watson, which I picked up at the Philadelphia Card Show on March 1st in Valley Forge. Uh, so yeah, March 1st, I paid $125 at a card show. I also sold this card on Instagram for $575. So yeah, this card has increased slightly in value. They're now seeing eBay sales of like $700. However, I was happy to take $575 on Instagram for it. Next card I bought way back January 25th. It was a Kyler Murray PSA 10 Prism. It was like one of the first batch of Prism PSA 10s that got back from the grading company. And uh, I bought it for 100 bucks. even. I sold it for 480 Again, this is a card that could be increasing in value. However, at 480 I would rather take that profit than gamble on Kyler Murray. That's just me. Uh, next up, 2018 um, Select Silver Lamar Jackson PSA 10. Uh, bought on January 29th for $145. Uh, sold at a Buy It Now on eBay for 800 bucks. I was happy to take that again. You never know what's going to happen in football. 145 bucks, sold it for 800. 
uh, satisfied with the profit margin on that. Uh, the next card is going to be a 2017 Select Purple Die Cut Prism <laughs> De'Aaron Fox. I know it's a lot to say. Um, I bought it on February 9th for $70. I sold it uh, last week for $325. It was really hard to get a market price on this card. Actually, the one that I owned, the PSA 10, was the only one in the pop report. It's one of the, you know, funky select die cuts that they have in multiple colors. 325 I was happy to take for it. Could have maybe got more. If I'd have put it at auction, I could have took less. So I just did a buy it now at 325 Next up is a card that has really seen price hikes since I've sold it. Um, it is what it is. But it's a 2013 uh, playoff or Panini Prestige Giannis uh, rookie card that I bought on... February 25th for $225 and I sold it for $600 or $599.99 at a buy it now. Uh, $600. Bucks. I wanted to get a quick turn on it. I made some good profit. However, that card is starting to push eight and nine hundred bucks now. Um, there's even some listings that have it over a thousand. They're not really selling, but the listings are pretty high. Could have hung on to it, made a little bit extra money. That's fine. Don't care. It's gone. Good profit. Uh, next up card is a card that's really starting to explode. The player's on fire. However, at the price that I bought this for, and believe it or not, guys, I bought like eight of these all off the same buyer. And it's the 2015 uh, Chris Stapps Porzingis Prism uh, rookie card, PSA 10. I bought a bunch of these on March 5th for $75 a card. And I just sold one of them for $325. This was before he's had his last couple monster games. The card has shot up over 500 bucks. Again, I'll take 325 on a $75 purchase. Bought way back on March 5th. And like I said, guys, you see the trend of how I was able to buy these cards so cheap so long ago. Next up is going to be another football card. 2016 Dak Prescott Prism uh, rookie card. I bought on April 9th for $125. Uh, sold that card for $550 at a buy it now. I put that card on eBay. And uh, less than five minutes later, it was gone. I mean, somebody ate that Dak Prescott net up. I, I don't even know what the prices are of them going now. I just know that card sold so fast. Hey, happy. Take it off my hands. $125 investment, $550 sale. Um, next up was a card that it was actually kind of near and dear to me if you guys follow my content you know i was super huge on this player and i actually really like this card i got attached to it was originally going to pc it however i'm not much of a pc on players that you know i didn't grow up idolizing um and this was a pascal siakam uh 2016 uh, psa 10 prism rookie card it was the starburst variation parallel i had bought it on may 4th for 162 dollars and i sold it at a buy it now for 700 so you know i liked the card 162 was my was my price point my purchase uh for 700 guys i just couldn't hang on to it i've actually seen a couple of these cards go a little bit less than 700 recently so if i wanted to rebuy it i could and probably still leave myself a little bit of profit in there however it's gone um next up 2016 from the same year as a siakam um, Jalen Brown rookie card PSA 10 bought on May 8th for 100 bucks and sold for 250. So not the biggest profit, 150 profit uh, prior to fees. Um, however, I bought Jalen Brown cards as one of my pre-playoff investments. I have some more cards of his, just like uh, Spicy P cards. I have about eight optics coming back from the grading company of Pascal Siakam. So. You know, I figured I would sell, you know, the prism that I had. Next up is going to be the Luca prism, guys. The 2018 Luca prism, which people are saying is going to become an iconic card, and it may. And I may go back and buy some more of these, but I bought it on May 23rd for 540 bucks, And I kept telling myself with the pop reports, because the pop reports were scaring me off even purchasing this card, that if it hit 900 bucks, I was going to sell. And I kept telling myself and telling myself that you guys who have been rolling with me in the videos, 
have heard me say that in the past. However, I hung on to it and I ended up selling it at $1,125. So I sold it for $1,125. They are pushing up to $1,400 now. But, you know, it is what it is. Again, $1,125 on $540. Um, I'll take it. If I want another Luka card, because I just, I just honestly don't think the Mavericks are going to go too far into the playoffs. I could be wrong. They could do something miraculous. But I think there will be another opportunity to buy this card. Next up is going to be a Pascal Siakam 2016 Select Silver, which I picked up at a card show raw for $25. Bucks. So you're not going to see the buy the buy on here. Uh, I bought it at a card show on uh, May or March 1st. I'm sorry, the same card show that I bought the Deshaun Watson at on March 1st for $25. Bucks. I bought this card raw for $25, bucks, yes. And I sent it to BGS. I could have sent it to PSA. However, I wanted to expedite it, and I only wanted to send one card. Uh, I sent it to BGS. It got a 9.5. So I'm in invested 50 bucks total between the grading fee and the card. I sold it for 550 So happy with that. Picked up a raw card. Got a good grade on it and was able to turn a $50 investment into 550 And the last card that I sold this week, guys, is going to be another Kyler Murray uh, Prism from 2019 rookie card. I sold the PSA, which I talked about earlier. This was an SGC. This was a card that I pulled from a blaster box from Walmart. So I spent 20 bucks on the blaster box. I spent 10 bucks to get the card graded. It came back as a 10. So I'm $30 invested on the card and I sold the SGC for 265. So the SGC went for 265 as opposed to the PSA that I sold for 480. But hey, that's the way the grading companies are right now. PSA just seems to be head and shoulders above the rest on value as far as uh, resale value. So, you know, if you add all that up, it's a total of, uh, let's see, it's a total of $7,244 in sales. Um, when you subtract out my uh, fees, and I don't lose fees for my two, uh, you know, my two Instagram sales, you know, it brings it down to, well, I'm not even sure what it brings it down to. Anyway, minus the fees and minus the, the investment for the cards, the cards cost me $1,972. $1,972 spent on the cards, um, over $7,000 in sales, minus the fees. It leaves me behind with $52.72 in profit. So yes, $52.72 in profit on sales this week. However, you can't look at it and say, hey, you made, you know, $5,300 in cards just this week. Keep in mind that these card purchases date all the way back to the first of the year, guys, all the way from January. So these are cards that I bought over a six-month stretch. So this is card profits that I've made over a six-month stretch. Um, and this is the first selling that I've done. Okay, I haven't done any selling. I've done nothing but buy for six months. So I still have two full boxes of graded cards back there. I have more than 50 cards coming back from PSA and SGC. So I have a lot more sales to do, a lot more buying to do. But yeah, guys, tell me what you would think. Am I knucklehead for selling some of these cards? Uh, you could say so because some of these cards have gone up in value already. And some of these cards have, you know, are going to keep going up. And I understand that and I realize that and that's cool. However, I'm happy at certain profit margins and that's what makes me sell. So let's get to the three cards that I have in the back, and I have a question for you guys. I bought this LeBron James Tops uh, Mint 9 on March 1st, driving back from the card show that I've talked about already, uh, for $500 even. It's now seeing eBay sales over $2,000. I bought this uh, Giannis Hoops, which seems to be a hot card really spiking up. I don't know if it's people love the, uh, the pose on that. It's almost as if that hoops card is coming iconic. People talk about that dunk pose all the time. I bought that back at the end of February, early May, can't quite remember, for $285. It was the first expensive card that I really bought, and I was like, oh my God, I'm spending close to 300 bucks on a card. However, it's selling close to 2000 now. It's it's sold for 1800 It's sold for 1900 And then in the middle, I have a card that's just recently gotten hot. You know, the Giannis has been going up constantly. It's been up to 800 bucks, 900 bucks. However, the restart of the season, this it's almost doubled back. It's almost doubled that up to 2,000. 
But Michael Porter Jr. here in the center, guys, had a couple monster games. I bought this a couple months ago for 100 bucks as one of my um, NBA, you know, NBA investments to make before the playoffs start type video thing. And uh, I bought it for 100 bucks. The last sale for this at auction went for 610. There have been some other buy it nows and best offers go anywhere between five and 600 bucks. So that card is almost, you know, 600 or 6X for me. So my question is, if you guys were me and you had to sell one of these cards, if you had to pick one of these cards to sell, which one would you sell? Would you sell the Michael Porter now and look for $500 profit? Or do you think that card could continue to climb? Would you sell the LeBron and make, you know, $1,500 profit? Or would you hang on to it because it's LeBron and, you know, it'll probably never go down? Or would you go ahead and get rid of the Giannis hoops? Um, you know, I bought it for you know, $300. So you're looking at close to $1,700 that I would make if I was to sell that. So it doesn't always boil down to how much money you can make as to how much potential is still left in the card or how much downside is still left in the card. The Giannis and the LeBron don't have as much downside. However, you're seeing big spikes on the Michael Porter right now. So you guys, let me know what you would do with your card or which card you would sell. I'm pretty sure a lot of people are going to say the Michael Porter. Um, so yeah, guys, that's it for my sales. Thanks for the interest. Uh, this is not a video where I brag and say, Hey, I bought this cheap and I sold it expensive. I was lucky guys. I was lucky enough to get in early and it's all about timing. I just was lucky enough to get in early. Um, I was brave enough to buy a couple cards. I wasn't afraid to spend a little bit of money. I was afraid to buy some of these cards. I'm not going to lie. I didn't know what the market was going to do. Fortunately, it blew up. It's not as easy for someone to get into the market now as it was six months ago. Uh, I will I will say that, uh, you know, I'm sure everybody can uh, testify to that. Um, so we're going to give away the packs, guys. Answer the question in the comments below to qualify to win the Anthony Davises. Make sure you like and subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you can uh, know when I'm releasing videos to give away these. I mean, this Anthony Davis is sweet. This LeBron, I mean... Not the best card in the world, however, value-wise, is just going up. So uh, until next time, guys, good luck in your investing, and I'll see you later. All right, guys, we're back. It's time to go ahead and pick ourselves a winner for the two packs, the, the Bowman value and the Mosaic. I actually left them out on the table, so I can't show them to you, but you guys know what they look like. Let's go ahead and give them away. Copy the link, head on over. Good luck to everybody, and you guys know the rules. Please contact me within seven days, uh, notifying me that you're aware that you're the winner. Uh, make sure you comment in this video saying, you know, you know that you won, so I don't have a false person uh, claiming your prize. And that's all you got to do. Contact me within seven days, Facebook, Instagram, there will be links, and uh, I'll just get your contact information, and the winner will have these packs sent right out to them. It really is that simple. Uh, so good luck to everybody. We're going to go ahead. We got our comments. We're going to filter out the duplicates. It's like 66 comments. Let's go ahead. Let's get our winner. Good luck, everybody. And here we go. Three, two, one. Who's it going to be, guys? Ziggy, no. Ziggy, no. Lakers versus Raptors. Lakers will win. Kobe will help. Rest in peace, peace, Kobe. And yes, he would like to see a sales video. So Ziggy, Ziggy from uh, another content creator, guys. If you haven't checked out Ziggy No, head on over there and check out his videos. And uh, Ziggy, um, I'm not sure if I have your address, but I know we've talked before. Um, hey, man, hit me up. Uh, these packs will be coming out to you. Maybe you can open them on your channel. Uh, maybe you can let your son open them. I know your sons like to open packs too. And I know you guys like the mosaic, so that's pretty awesome. All right, everybody, thanks for participating. And guys, we've got four more, five more, at least four, five more giveaways coming up, video after video after video, guys. So if you didn't win this time, don't worry. You still got more chances. Make sure you hit the notifications and like and subscribe so you can get yourself entered for those uh, giveaways coming up. And once again, guys, good luck in your investing. Until next time, I will see you later.